While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. They say to do all his commandments. Keep that in mind, to do all his commandments. And I'm finna show you what you did. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan. To all who? All Israel. Right. That's you blacks, Native American, and so-called Hispanics. Give me go back to 15. I'm finna show you what happened. Now remember, he said you keep all the commandments. You seek your knowledge. Verse 15, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So when we came out of the land of Egypt, whether you believe it or not, when you came out of the land of Egypt, when we all came out of the land of Egypt, Moses gave us commandments that the God gave to him to give to us. You understand? You familiar with the Ten Commandments? But he gave more than Ten Commandments. He had rules and regulations and statutes and judgments which we should, which we should follow going into the land where he was going to lead us. But you didn't do it. You didn't do it. We didn't do it. You said you was going to do it. Believe it or not, you said you was going to do it when you was there. But because you have no remembrance of it from years and years and years ago, that was you, that was me, that was all of us standing out here today that we said we was going to do it, but we didn't. And this is what happened when we didn't do it. Cursed shall I be in the city. Cursed shall I be in the field. Cursed shall you be in the city. You see what's going on out here in these cities? You see, you see, you see the murder, the crime, the drugs? You see what I'm saying? Curse. You know what that means? That's why you working a nine to five right now. That's why you working a nine to five right now. You gotta go to work right now. You gotta work for your slave oppressor. Bring it up. Bring it up. Who own who owned the security company you work for? Huh? Is it black owned? Is black owned this company? The security company, and they gotta go through all the rules and regulations that set up by this kingdom, right? In order to get their license to work, right? Go back, go back to 16. Go back to 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall I be in the city, and cursed shall I be in the field. Let me ask you a question. When were we cursed in the field? Do you know when our people was cursed in the fields? What was we doing? What was we doing in the 1800s in the field? Huh? Work. Who were we working for? The who? The white man, right. Picking cotton, gold, silver, whatever they told us to do, rubber, sugar cane field. That's what we was doing. Lord say all that came upon you because you didn't hearken into what he told you. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, let's go to 48. I'm finna show you why you're working right now. This is why you gotta go to work. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. Serve who? Thine enemy. You gotta serve them. You gotta go to work and work a nine to five. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent them against you? The Lord. Just. The Lord sent them against you. Read. Shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. And hunger and in thirst. If you want something to eat, you got to go to their store. Jewels, Walmart, Myers. You got to go to all these stores to get something to eat. You know why? Because you didn't hearken to the voice of the Lord to God. That's why you got to go right now. That's why you got to go to work. When you was a prince. When we was princes and kings and princesses, now you work a nine to five. And your slaver, your slave, that used to be your slave, is now your oppressor. Read. And in nakedness. And in, and in what? In the what of all things. And nakedness. The clothes. You got to go to the security company store and get the uniforms and everything. You want to go buy new clothes, you got to go to their stores, Macy's. Possibly Scott. You know what I'm saying? You got to go to all these stores. To, you understand what I'm saying? In nakedness to clothe yourself. Read. And in want of all things. If they want to get your security license, 
your 40 hours, your armed security. You got to go through the rules they set up, right? In order to be an armed security guard. You got to get your 30 hours. You got to get your, you know what I'm saying? And then you got to get your, um, you got to have your fingerprints taken and they got to run your fingerprints. You understand what I'm saying? And one of all things, and one of all things, that's what it's talking about. Everything you want to do, you want to get a driver's license, birth certificate, social security card. You understand what I'm saying? You want to get food stamps. You want to get a job. You want to go to college. You want to get a death certificate. Whatever, you got to go to them for whatever you want. Why? Because this is their kingdom right now. They set this up. You fail from rulership because you didn't keep the commandments. We fail from rulership because we didn't keep the commandments. We fail from rulership. That's why you got to go to all your enemies for whatever you want. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. That's what the white man did to you. Not just the white man. That's what the Chinese man did. That's what the Arabs did. That's what the other Africans over there and the other nations did. You understand? That's what the Japanese did. A yoke of iron upon that, on your neck. You was in slavery to all these nations, but you know it not. Until he have destroyed thee. Because you destroyed. You destroyed. That's why you don't know. Y'all going about y'all every day not knowing that it's going to be famine. The stores is running out of food. Y'all should be stocking up. Preparing. At least getting yourself prepared and just in case something do kick off, which is going to happen. It's prophesied that it's going to happen. But y'all don't believe it. Why? Because you're in a docile state. You're asleep. You don't know what's going on. Read. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from afar, from the end of the earth, as swift as an eagle flyeth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. You didn't understand their language when the conquistadors came over here and started speaking Spanish. You was not speaking Spanish until they came over here and put you in slavery. That's where you learned it from. That wasn't your language. Spanish wasn't your language. I don't know why y'all so proud about speaking Spanish. Spanish wasn't your language. That became your language when you became a slave. When you was destroyed, that when it became your language. You hear some Mexicans say, well, yeah, you ain't even real Mexican if you can't speak Spanish. Spanish ain't your language. Just like English ain't my language. English came from my slave oppressors. That wasn't the language my forefathers were speaking. Three. A nation of fierce continents. Fierce continent. When they came here, they weren't playing with you. They gangsted everything. They wrote deeds and leases up on your own land and told you you didn't have no land. That's what they did. They wrote deeds and leases on your own land when they came over and put you in slavery and said you didn't have no land. They came over and straight gangstered it. You ain't no real gangster. Uh-uh. Those who came over here and gangstered you and put you in slavery, them the real gangsters. They took everything in front of your face. Bring it out. Read. We shall not regard the person of old, nor show favor to the young. They didn't care whether you was old or young. They killed babies, old men, women, young children, fathers, grandfathers. They killed anybody they got their hands on in whatever way they thought to do it, they did it. Why? Because you didn't keep the commandments. You didn't hearken to the commandments. Just like you ain't listening to that. Some people think they speak Spanish, they real Mexican. Spanish ain't your language. Spanish became your language when you was in slavery. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.